it's no secret that SpaceX likes to innovate without fear of being rare. No matter what happens, engineers keep moving forward. Footboards is made up of four large complexes and each of them always has something new being produced. Perhaps the biggest question at the moment is what the new launch location will be like. It will be a bi-directional trench with two cooling ramps and the table itself will be mobile or fixed. And most importantly, will it support second and third generation busters? This is what the site looked like before SpaceX began construction of the second tower. On this land, the company carried out avid static fire tests and made the SN line of herbicides. Until the beginning of 2024, the company operated at the foot of climbing the vital A and B. Well, moving forward in time, the slingshot has changed brutally. In the middle of the year, SpaceX began to completely transform the place. And well, in the months of May and June we were certain that the new launching foot responsible for committing. All the power of the Super Heavy's engines would be different from what they had done before. Ace Foot In September, it was already possible to see the entire shape of the new tree. And we were certain once and for all that the SpaceX would adopt the ditch or trench system. This system is the most common on all launch platforms around the world. But SpaceX has always been reluctant to use this system, since the rough terrain is very shallow. Any deeper hole will already lead to a water table. And as we know, this type of trench needs considerable depth. And another thing that also prevented SpaceX from being built in this format is the space that the trench occupies. As you can see, every canteen in the launch complex is utilized. And despite having a lot of land around, everything is arid, despite its state. And it is environmental preservation. Just to be able to expand and have this little piece for the construction of B's foot. It was almost two years of bureaucracy. In a land surveying process, SpaceX certainly lost out. As part of its ambitious plans, SpaceX aims to complete its new launch system by mid-2025. Theater hands is slower to build due to its complexity. A's foot has proven to be very effective, and so far there have been six voles with this system, in addition to a series of static fire tests with a blaster. SpaceX doesn't give less point, and as they are developing the second and third generation narratives, New launch hardware will also be required. And while Ace Foot model is very good, it still takes a long time to get it operational after a flight. Well my friends, we have already seen what the place was like in the past, the construction of drag, the shape of the trench, and its importance for the future of launches at Starbase. Now let's see what the money has already done, and try to speculate what the entire table set will look like. Well, in August SpaceX started preparing an area in the patio in Santes for the construction of the table. The first pairs we saw being placed at the beginning were sort of support pillars. For main ones and eight auxiliaries. Soon after this, four sessions were placed on the first floor. Speculation of the sequence of the part, where the inlets may be from the table to the main structure, with that of a possible transport system if it is mobile. Well, as of the date of this video we have the second level complete and I saw the stretch for eight pieces. This area can contain all the propellant piping, as well as all the electrical parts. And will it also be what will be installed of the booster fixing clamps? There are 20 clamps in Toya, and in addition to securing the booster, the SP-6 uses them to initiate the ignition of the 20 engines of the external ring. The upper part could be composed of a water-cooled plate, divided into 16 pieces, and it is already possible to see some pieces in the yard. It is still unclear whether it will be a new model, whether there will be more than one, and whether it will be attached to the table or will remain on the base platform of the trench. If this is indeed going to happen, they are quite confident in this new system, as it has not yet been tested. Well, whether it's a mobile platform or not, it will have to have an extremely low maintenance chain. Because only in this way could the prey reach the long-awaited launch chain in hours. The OLM, the Orbital Launch Month, is made up of many parts and the flame diverter is one of them. Just like the table, the system responsible for Raptor motor content also holds many mysteries for us. Well, it's already clear that B's foot will have a ditch to contain the flames. This system is one of the most used in the world, and its main benefit is the directed flow of hot gases and the combustion byproduct away from the main structure. It is also ideal for reducing noise in the event of an explosion at the base of the rocket, as the trench may contain a good amount of debris. But my friends, 
there are still many unanswered questions, because SpaceX is getting ready. Well, the first question is, will it be a two-way or one-way ditch? Well, this doubt arose because, in Santes, these two pieces appeared. This is the main part for the construction of the vertical ramp that is reflected in the water. And as you can see, there are two, plus a massive amount of other pieces around. And it indicates that SpaceX can build more than one ramp, and that's why the doubt arose. If it would be a bi-directional trench. Well, the bi-directional flame deflector wasn't weird, it was used on the Saturn V launch pad. Well, my friends, this dual system test can fall apart for two reasons. First, the direction the flames would face on one side. In this schematic leaked a few months ago, it shows that SpaceX intends to build a facility for the production of oxygen. And the flames from the ditch would go straight towards this factory. And second, we can see that workers are installing the pipes at the end of one of the sides. And furthermore, the tour itself is not centered with the trench design so I strongly believe it will be an oil lateral flame arrester. Now, as to why SpaceX might be building more than one vertical ramp, we still don't know. And if it's really tough, maybe one will go to Florida, since we saw some pieces there from a second table. This deflector ramp will look very similar to any that was built in the mess a few months ago. Because the pieces that are here are very similar to those we saw in the past. As you know, the third launch tour at Complex 39 in Florida is on hold for the most human. Due to SpaceX reapplying for its FAA license. And in the new document, there are important changes, such as the Super Heavy with 35 engines and the ship with 6 engines. Which characterizes a third generation rocket at the very least. And as we saw, there are already some pieces on Robots Road, and it is possible that the second table is under construction. Well, it's clear when you put these pieces together that your new desk will be designed to handle the best that SpaceX has to offer in the future. But as always, we must remain cautious and wait for the real closing of this new platform. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member so click on our perks through the link the description below thanks to watching and see you next time.